this is Dre Hughes again, doing another debunking video on the Kanika Jenkins case, unfortunately. However, there are many people who think there is a body in this plastic bag right here, and I'd like to set those minds at ease. So, let's get started. Okay, there's a video out right now showing this plastic bag and some movement in it. And when you look at it, you think, ah, oh, that that's kind of weird, right? But it's not weird, okay? And I don't know if the person making the video is intentionally trying to deceive people or, or what, okay? I won't make that judgment, okay? But what I'm going to say is, I mean, again, we've got the handheld camera, no time code, everything's moving around. And if you look at it, I mean, it is mildly interesting. You see something moving uh, right around, and let's see if I can get to that the spot. Yes. So you see how there's a, a change in the towels too there, and right after that, you start seeing this weird puffiness, and she, you know, goes back and forth with the. Uh, you see that right there? Almost like uh, a pulsating puff in there, and you think, oh wow, that's weird. That's weird. Okay, but let's actually show you what's really going on here, okay? And here's a much clearer video, and I, I have the time code up here. All right, so here's what's happening. There's a guy who drops off a bag of, you know, could be tablecloths, could be anything, right? And here he is, all right? He drags. Now, look how easily he's dragging that bag. He just puts it right there, Okay. I have a feeling this could be the same guy that we see in a different area on different surveillance carrying the bag, but I, I can't tell. But that's exactly the same shape, all right? So there's a plastic bag, and they put in a bunch of uh, towels and then drug them in. Now, there's no way that would be a 159-pound person, even a 125-pound person. There's no way you could just drag it like that, okay? But here's what I could do. I could also trick you. Once you set that bag there, this pointed area slowly settled down. Now watch this. I could go like this over and over. Oh, look at that. Look at that. It's moving. Do you see that? Oh, my God, everybody. It's moving. Look at that. Look at that. Look at it. Look. It's moving. Okay, but it's really just the bag settling over time. All right. I'm, when I'm scrubbing forward quickly, it's, a, it's like a time lapse. All right. So that ends at, on the end of the ninth video you see a couple officers right here right now we go over to the 10th and that bag's still sitting there right and now officers are looking around for Kanika because they really had no idea where she was they weren't able to actually follow where she was going on surveillance they only found that last footage later um, in the upper kitchen I actually think they didn't find her based on the surveillance. I think they just found her in the upper kitchen and then loaded up that uh, footage later, and there she was walking in there. All right, so that's not really related to this video, though. Okay, so now if you watch it about, you know, right around in this time is when Kanika was found. And then a radio call went out to everybody, and now look, here, here they all are walking past the bag because Kanika's not in there. Now, at 107, there's the food and beverage manager. He's just going to go get some clean tablecloths and bring them into this room and then bring some dirty tablecloths out. Okay, I'll scrub through that quickly, but here he goes. He grabs the new ones, takes the dirty ones, and throws them on the ground ready for someone else to wash. Okay? All right. Now, let's get to this bag incident here. Now, watch. Here's what happened. Here's a guy walking by. And he throws the towel, and it puffed up the bag. Okay? And now if you look up here, it's 557.07. All right, now watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to do the same puff by... Look at the time now, all right? So from 557 to 613, I can just go back and forth like this. And it looks to be puffing. And that's the exact moment in time that you see in that YouTuber's video. Okay? So they knew to just go like this and eliminate the fact that a guy threw the towel on it. Because that's what happened. So in real time, if you were just going to sit here and watch it, it was like that. Boom. It puffed up the plastic bag. The guy walks away. And then just over time, the bag settles. 
All right, you, you can't even see it with your right your naked eye right there. It skipped because it actually skipped forward about 16 minutes right there, and it settled during that time. Now, if you scrub all the way through it some more, it actually just stays like that because now it's all settled. Okay, now let's even give you some more uh, proof here. So that was at about 6:14, and then uh, I'm going to scale this down so you can see the time right there. So literally, geez, let me see how many hours later that was. So 6.14, about three hours later, this guy comes by and he grabs a bag. Now look how easily he can just kind of swing that over. Do you think that's a 159-pound person? There's not a chance, okay? So what he does is he puts more towels and stuff inside, more uh, tablecloths, you know, stuff that needs to be washed into those bags. But who really cares what's what he's putting in the bag okay the 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 thing is is that's not a body okay so i hope this puts at ease all the people's minds out there that thought that was a person in the bag and actually moving because it just isn't all right so the reason i make these debunking videos is because there's so much garbage out there and if you go read the comments underneath that video people are like oh my god oh my god i can't believe it i can't believe it how'd, how'd they miss that well, it's because that's not a body, all right? And I, I shouldn't be able to debunk anything. But right now, this video I just made completely, irrefutably debunks that video. There is no out, okay? So I shouldn't be able to do that, all right? So I, you, know, you might ask yourself why people make videos like that. I, I can't answer it because uh, I don't know what's in their, their heart and soul. But in reality, um, you know, I believe they do it intentionally to get people riled up and to start watching their videos. Okay, so I hope that helped everybody uh, ease their minds out there. And until next time, I will talk to you later.